Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It is Stephanie of Geek Planning back at it again for another video. Hi, hello, how are you? Hopefully we're all having a grand old time. Um, also, hi, happy Plymouth Day 19 question mark. Pretty sure it's the 19th. Also have no idea because I don't have any of my notes in front of me right now. But anyways, hi, hello, how are you? In today's video, we will have a 2023 planner stack type video for you guys. Um, so I have three planners shown. One planner is still TBD because again, we're trying to not overspend on our budgets. And technically a planner needs two pay periods worth of budgets because um, planners are expensive. Anyways, <laughs> um, so I have stuff that are shown. Really quickly, I'm gonna go through what's not shown. So I, fingers crossed that I'm able to get some sort of rings planner. If not, like we'll just struggle with it and figure it out at some point eventually. However, <laughs> fingers crossed I can get a rings planner. Specifically, I really, really want the Print Pression SPC collab planner in black. I will literally just go off any color at this point because I've put off getting it for so long that now it's just like, well, can I even get it? You know what I mean? Um, so anyways, <laughs> There's that. Also, this isn't a pity party. Like, we're we're fine. I could technically buy it right now if I wanted to. However, again, budgeting, trying to be better on like non spontaneous spending kind of a thing. Anyway, so with all that being said, I really, really want that to be my memory planner. I will still like print my own inserts. Um, I want to get to the dividers from King's Shop as well. But that's the only planner that I don't have here because I don't physically have it in front of me because I still have yet to purchase it kind of a thing. So at some point, eventually, I'm also just waiting for him to like go on a sale. Like, to be honest, if he decides that he's going to like run a sale tomorrow, I will literally just buy it tomorrow um, because usually the sales are pretty stacked. So hopefully there's some sort of Boxing Day thing. If not, again, we're just going to wait. I don't technically have to use it until like February of 2023. Um, so we have time. Anyways. That's all that. Let's go ahead and get onto the planners that I have physically in front of me. That will be my memory planner, which is basically what you guys see me filming all the time anyways. All my plan of will still be on that. Um, I just need to get it. And like, honestly, at this point, I'm just like, I just want a black planner. Like, I don't know which one is more important to me, getting it to be black or getting it to have like the little windows um, for things because I'm, I think I'm funny. And I'll talk about them more <laughs> whenever I get it and set it up and all that fun stuff, but I think I'm funny. So anyways, with all that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the planners that I do actually physically have. This year I only have one planner that I'll be carrying over from the year prior. So this is the 2022-2023 academic planner from Passion Planner. Um, so it starts in August, July. It starts in July and it runs through June of 2023 so I'll be using it for this first six months and potentially also using it for the next six months but let me just show you guys like what a normal week looks like for me um so like typically what I'll do is like I'll color code like my classes I'll color code this guy right here I'll color code whenever I had to go to work all that stuff and then like when I'm at the library or like whenever I can think of it I'll just start writing down random checklists type things I'm really bad at like actually checking them off but like as the week goes on I'll just add more things here there everywhere kind of a thing and I want to say at some point like I also started putting in my content so it's like how I'll be using this planner in specific is just like a regular timed pre-planner that it doesn't really matter like how it looks um like for sure if something is time sensitive like I do want it to be color coded just so it stands out however aside from that it really doesn't matter how it looks like I will just this is the travel with me planner it's always in either my backpack or my bag um and it comes with me everywhere so I know like if I need to write things down if I remember something randomly any of that stuff like if I need to write notes for something I have this guy with me this is my carry all catch all mostly school related because right now school is consuming most of my life however because I'm on break right now it's now also mostly work related <laughs> so yeah it's just kind of a catch-all it's my fashion planner I do have an unboxing video for all three of these planners actually so I'll have this linked in a card up above that's kind of just how I'm using this one and then my stay at home planner kind of thing um is the by Sophia Lee daily planner and this is also a catch-all but in a different sense like that the other one feels more like brain dumpy and this one feels more like structured if that makes any sense so I just have like the little planner bookmark thing that I need to put on the for the monthlies I'm gonna explain this like without showing you guys what it actually looks like um I want to use this more as like a structured what my life is what it looks like all that kind of stuff so like let's say I get paid like the first and the 15th Wednesdays of February like I'll write that down and then I'll like highlight them and then I'll highlight whatever bills come in that coordinating color kind of thing so like on like the first is like typically when like the pink diamond planner code subscriptions are due so then i'll have like in the notes like purple means last month's paycheck or whatever so then i'll highlight that one so i know to save money from that period to this one kind of thing so it'll be that and then it'll be like 
any sort of recurring things in my life that I don't really want to show on the internet will go in here. Um, really just any sort of structured thing. Also in here like I have a bunch of other pages. So like these goals I don't really think I will use. I kind of really want to use this one mostly just to focus on like my mental health and do more things for me but I don't really know how another page that I will not show you guys <laughs> in my January one because I did already start writing in it um, was the like budget section. So like the monthly budget organizer and the monthly expenses like I will use these guys super duper in detail. Um, also 10 out of 10 recommend checking out Anna of with Anna her like how to start a budget series phenomenal love it um I'll be using this guy just to kind of get my feet in the ground pick it up all that stuff and hopefully fill this out daily if not like every couple of days and then on to the meat and potatoes the reason why we're here the weekly overview so like I'll be using this guy I'll be using this guy but this is really how like my planner is going to look it's like I will just have it flipped to whatever day we're on and it's timed from 5 a.m to 11 p.m then I have my checklist and then I have my notes for like things that I want to put in my memory planner kind of a thing um so this will extend it essentially, essentially be a much more detailed version of like whatever is in this guy you know what I mean um so like as I write stuff down in here like I'll like pre-plan my week look at it put it over here that kind of a thing so that way like I can have more detailed things of like what I need to do in my life okay so I don't really know where my camera cut me off but anyways this one's gonna be more like school focused things I need to be planned this one is more literally everything else in the entirety of my life that has to be planned um so like school life work blah 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 this one will still have everything like in there time wise just to know like how I can plan around for school so like on the days that I have work I won't be able to have like a library study day so I'll be able to like, plan my library study days plan out what assignments need to be done when all that kind of stuff versus this one is more like when I'm sitting at my desk in my room what do I need to get done what kind of special projects do I have what like work things do I need to be done like what when do I have to do laundry all that kind of stuff is gonna be more so in this one kind of a thing this is what the daily planner looks like there's like this weekly overview page I don't see like how well I'm going to be using it I might like use this one simultaneously with this one to figure out like what needs to be done when kind of a thing but I don't think I'll be flipping that pack to this one very often um but this is what like the daily pages look like normally um and then I did go ahead and just go through and fill in what days of the week they're gonna be and this is what the weekends look like it's just like Saturday and Sunday are stacked together which I really don't mind um because most of my time sensitive stuff is Monday through Friday for like school and all that so there's that one and then last but not least we have this planner which is my weekly pre-planner type situation this one you probably won't see on camera super often I might do it like here there everywhere kind of a thing um but not like a weekly basis like my memory planner will be and so for this one I just have like the little vellum thing this page belongs to and then I wrote my name and then I do have like my kit lineup already written in here and then a highlighter just for like 2023 kits so I just use this one like or like the year at a glance pages I guess you could say or like month at a glance pages um for writing my kit line up and then we have the like 2022 2023 no 2023 2024 ugh, weird to think about um and then like I'll be using these monthlies more like creatively kind of a thing um so like marking which weeks I have school um paydays any like eventful life things and then the weeklies so like how this is going to be laid out is like I do have a planner stand so like this one will be laying like this right so you could kind of see it and then this one let me see if I could even just like turn to it so it'll essentially kind of look like this right like this one is just laying flat on my desk and then this one's on a planner stand so I can have like at a glance but also single day kind of a thing um and this is really mostly just for fun and to use up the kits that I have and to be able to play with stickers more like just whenever I feel like it like whenever I need to de-stress um and all that kind of stuff and big picture type thing so this is like big picture this is big picture with school little things to do and then this is mostly just my day-to-day -day kind of a thing so this one never leaves this one never leaves this one comes with me everywhere and my memory planner will be like strictly just for filming so you guys will see like literally every single time that I use that planner kind of a thing um and I'm pretty gonna use it pretty like basically like this planner I want to like not do a full bottom wash on it I kind of just want to do like a 15 millimeter at the bottom and then have the days go down and before I'm gonna plan this out like really similarly to how I did like my 2017 planner thingy let me like 
just flipped to some random week after this where um this is how it would look right i'm just gonna ruin a little bit of this washi really quickly um so like i'll have like this part will have washi right and then this part will still just be like an extension of my day and then i'll have my header section but all of the rest of this isn't going to be like specifically structured towards like the normal like header full box header full box header full box type situation and i won't be using any like foil or bougie or anything in this guy like it's going to be a strictly functional e type planning but it'll be very similar to like 2017 me where like essentially a header space was a point in time um just to again have like big picture things have it more be like a plan as i go type a sticker planner um and i do have videos on that like from my very first videos which i do not recommend checking out but yeah that's basically it the time will be using this guy hopefully you guys enjoyed this video again sticker pre-planner school pre-planner slash just a time sensitive life thing so i know to like plan around them and then oh if i can even get this guy to close day to day store okay so i don't really know where exactly my camera was at but either way that is it for my 2023 planner lineup again i am still waiting to purchase some sort of ring planner <laughs> if anything we'll probably just wait until the end of the year and just store them in the little binder rings that i had for a really long time um for my brew planner for this year um but either way <laughs> it's there my camera's gonna die this is like my fourth time trying to do this outro anyways let's just pause take a bit of a breather take a bit of a chill pill and deep breath in deep breath out and repeat after me i am enough just know that you are enough as a living breathing human being your feelings or emotion or your emotions are valid your feelings are valid your responses to things are like a combination of being a product of your environment and like whatever the information that you have like remember not to judge your past self based on information that you know now like we're all just doing our best with whatever we can with any situations that we are placed in and again as per usual just know that if you ever need a random ear to listen to your i was I almost said listen to you but then i was like wait no i would have to read it <laughs> through like texting or whatever um but just my dms are always open if you ever need anything and just know you don't ever have to go through anything alone and you are valid and you are enough you are more than enough um and all those beautiful wonderful things in life <laughs> just know to do whatever you need to do the most amazing and sprightly me i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>